Hello everyone and welcome back to Atari Vault. Next up on our list is Crystal Castles. I have never heard of this game before. I have no idea what to expect. Um, I do not want to move up there. I want to just look at the gallery because that's what we seem to be doing for one of these. The name's Bentley Bear and I've got a tip for you. Um, anyone else think that's a little creepy? That kid looks freaked the hell out. He also looks like he's faking it, you know? You can really tell when they fake it. Okay, so let's see. Ever since Atari made me the star of their latest coin video rage. Video rage, really? Is that what they used to say back in the day? Life's been anything but a teddy bear's picnic. Luckily, Atari has programmed a few tricks to help me, like the warp tunnel, which lets me jump ahead at the beginning of a new game and gives you big bonus points. Okay, so like Black Widow, okay. And since I'm eager, no, cagier than the average bear, let me sneak you a few more hints right now. In level one, give me to the back corner of the maze and press jump. That'll take me to level three, where you can do the same thing. Well, this time I must be wearing the magic hat to jump to level five. Now you must wait until the third maze of level five before another secret warp can blast me off to level seven. So take it from me, with these tips you'll be a winner too. Okay. Thanks, I guess. I, mean, I don't know if we're ever going to do that, but all right. So the cutest teddy bear in the world who looks a little bit like the cross between, I don't know, a rat and a koala with a little bit of puss in boots, right? Because otherwise, why is he only wearing boots and a belt and gloves? Are those like dinner gloves? I mean, I, I'm confused. Oh, here we go. Okay, so these are the operator and options, game difficulty. I mean, these graphics look like they are top notch for the 1980s. Once upon a time, there lived a bear named Bentley who wandered o'er the land in search of fortune plenty. That doesn't scan very well. Picnic baskets and such were not his bill of fare. Only ruby gemstones could content this clever bear. While naming the lands of crystal castles, Bentley gathered his jewels with the greatest of care. I bet he did. That's what she said. All the innuendo, innuendo, dot JPEG. A snatch here and there. That's what she said. Left by a swift paw or two, showered fame and fortune on this rarest of bears. Did they just? No. Okay. I was trying to. I thought for a minute there that they rhymed two with bears, but no, they rhymed care with bears. You're not allowed to do that. Well, you are allowed to do that. Of course you are. You can do anything you like. Life is no picnic for Bentley Bear as he walks the crossroads between waves and new crystal castles from Atari. Each wave presents him with a tempting trail of ruby gemstones winding in and out and all around a 3D super maze structure that varies in 16 different play fields, including a castle, fortress, palace, and even a dungeon. There are tunnels to explore, elevators that take him from one plateau to another, and sometimes a hidden ramp. Bentley is determined to collect all the gems which reach him to a rapidly escalating point value for each succeeding stone plucked, all the way up to 99 points apiece. The trick is to escape all the scary creatures that chase him along the way and did a share of gem gathering to lessen his chances. He's able to beat out his competition against the last gem in a wave. He also captures a handsome bonus. Interesting. Okay. New conversion kits for Missile Command, Dig Dug, Kangaroo, and Arabian. All right. Sure. Bentley Bear is loose. They did another stuffed animal for this one. Um, he is not wearing the gloves, though, is he? He's picked up a ruby in his hand, which is impressive for a stuffed animal. He's wearing the craziest hat, though. That's got to be the wizard hat they talked about before. Now he's loose in the streets, not just loose. Um, that is both cute and creepy at the same time. Also, I'm never sure about people who have one of their initials in their bank belt buckle, or even all of their initials. That's just, I don't know. They were just judgmental. All right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and lower the volume because the Black Widow game was super loud. So let's lower this down. That should work out nicely. You can still hear the audio, it would be fine. All right, let's go ahead and play Crystal Castle. Okay, looks cool. You gonna give me a tutorial for this game too? It just is Intercoin. I think that's all I was gonna say. Oh, right, here we go. So okay, yeah, he is actually collecting the rubies. So you can't touch, you can't be touched by the monsters. Being touched by the monsters is bad. You can jump. Okay, and then he gets eaten. Or no, he just gets thrown away. He gets shrunk and then thrown away. Okay. 
Apparently a thing. All right. So yeah, grab all the coins you can. Um, here. Try to be strategic about this. Up. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can have that one. I don't want it. You can have it. Um, there we go. Okay, that was super easy, right? We got the last gem. I'm not sure how they determined last gem, but all right. All right. So now we're on one of these. I like the up and down music or sound effects. That's pretty good. Okay, the trees are definitely after us. Can't let them get after us, or can't get them to get us. Take the honey pot, which is worth a thousand points. Oh, okay. Um, no, the trees totally got that one, but I get these. Okay. Interesting. I mean, it seems pretty easy right now, but... Oh, okay. Don't want to get too close to those guys. How about we... Um... Oh, there's a secret path over there. Oh, oh, I got eaten. I got eaten. Um, oh no, I went inside the I went inside the path. That was weird. I thought I got eaten there for a minute, but I didn't. Okay, we need to get to. How do we? Oh, okay. We take the elevator up. I got you. I got you. Okay, we took the wizard hat. I hear there's a level over here though. Oh, there's a tornado. Um, do I care about the tornado? Oh, don't get eaten though. Um, okay, move, move, move. Oh, I moved in the wrong direction. Okay, take that. I want to take the elevator, though. How do I... Okay, the skeleton took the elevator. How do I not take the elevator? Oh, damn it. I got eaten by the skelly. Okay, this one's harder. Okay. Come in right up here, and then take all these. Hey, skelly. You see me, don't you? Um, dude, that guy just clipped right through. I think that's bullshit. I can take that last one. Yeah, there you go. I can't believe I actually got a bonus for that. How many lives do I have? Can I tell? Oh, there's a little tiny bear on the bottom left corner. Slight variations on these. Um, I think we're not supposed to touch the um, the hurricane or tornado, whatever the heck it is. But I could be wrong about that. Oh, I totally want to take the elevator there, huh? Get those last four. All right, I'll do it. They are totally eating those rubies. They are eating the shit out of those rubies. I need to get that honey, too. Oh, the honey is on the elevator. Interesting. Okay, how do we get over there? Um, go over this way. Go down this way. I mean, there's the wizard hat. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, what does the wizard hat do for me? Oh, okay, we're good. Take 1,000 points. Um, and I got... Yeah. Not supposed to touch the, uh, the uh, tornado. Touching a tornado... Oh, or the snake creatures. That's bad, too. That's it, huh? Yeah, game over. Okay, let's try that again. That was interesting. I mean, the first level is super easy, but the rest of them, 82. Okay, I'm down at 82. That's just insulting. <laughs> Magic hat makes you invincible. Oh, I didn't even know. Catch gem eaters when they're eating and stay away from them when they're moving from gem to gem. So you can totally pass them by when they're eating. Take too much time and the swarm returns. Oh, that's a swarm, not a tornado. And then jump over trees. Just Oh, that's right. You have a jump. Okay, I need to find out what my jump button is. What's my jump button? It's A. Of course it's A. Why would it be anything else other than A? Silly goose. Okay. These guys, do you think they're also distracted by eating? Because they weren't actually in the tutorial thing there. That It's kind of bullshit that they weren't there for, but that's okay. I'll get over it. I probably won't, you know, kill anyone. Okay. So we can jump. Remember, we can jump. I mean, it only apparently works on trees, but that's at least something. So I can jump over you. Yep. Now it makes you shrink. Oh, except only once. Okay. Good to know. And I don't think I took too long, so I don't know why the swarm's there already. Am I supposed to be done with it already? I mean, that seems kind of ridiculous. Um, I probably should have jumped over that guy, but still worked. Okay, the swarm's gonna come over. Okay, they totally took that gem. That is okay, though, because I took those. Didn't get all of them, but I got a good amount of those. I mean, you could say that it's kind of like Pac-Man, and it's a little bit like Pac-Man. I mean, you're eating these guys and trying to avoid the ghost. Do not get grabbed by the skelly. Hold on. Um, okay, you know what? You can have that one. How about that? Oh, you know what? I don't think the skelly eats gems i think the other monsters do but i don't think this guy does okay we well, you know what we can go around this side 
Grab the invincibility. Um, okay, well, the swarm swarms on us. <laughs> Ouch, he says. Okay. Oh, dude, I just need that last gem. Oh, but the skelly ate my face. I needed my face to breathe. Okay, okay. We did this level before. A 144. How many freaking scores? I mean, that's impressive for the time. But it's still a little insulting to say you're 144th. I mean, don't even give me the option to enter my score at that point, you know? Okay, just go. Oh, oh, that was so bad. I thought I could edge around the corner there, and I totally can't edge. Okay, you know what? We're fine. This one's a little weird because that one path is just a little too wide. Okay, we can grab the last gem, though. Oh, no, we can't. He's going to eat the last gem, so we don't even get the bonus. Yeah, okay. When do we get an extra life? I think we get an extra life like 10,000 points or something like that. So grab the honey, which is worth 1,000. Just move all the way down, all the way up. Oh, come on! I didn't mean to go up there. Tree wave. At least they name it appropriately. I appreciate that. Okay, go up here. Grab all these. Yeah, there we go. Nope. Don't go that. Okay, we're good. Yeah, just let him grab it. Let him take it. Man, I don't even care. You want to take the last gem? You want to do it? You're totally distracted by me, huh? You want to come over here? You want to come over here? You can't come over here, buddy. It's my gem. Okay, so that's a neat trick. Is they'll act Some of these guys will actually walk towards you. Some of them won't, like the Skelly. Okay, you got to take this... Oh, man. got to do this first, right? Okay, I think I distracted him. Go down. Good enough. I mean, the monsters are eating the gems, so we got to move, but... You know, we can go all the way around. Grab the invincibility. And then grab the last two gems. Yes! Because that was totally worth it. Okay, so this is the one we died on before, but we can grab the invincibility and kill her. That totally worked. Okay, is the swarm's already here? Excuse me? How does that make any sense at all on, like, a logical level? Another thousand points. Good, didn't even need to go around that time. Go up this way. Go around. So I think we leave, like, the top one all by itself. Then the other guys can't eat it. Um, so then we just need... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The swarm's here. Can't get to me yet, though. And then we just eat these. And then we're done. Okay. I have no idea when we get extra lives. I thought it was at 20,000, but I don't think it is. Okay, so now we go hidden ramp, huh? Oh, Shazbot! <laughs> they landed right on me! I didn't see any bad guys, and so I figured there were none because I'm a damn fool, apparently. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, well, we have to start back at level 1 because, of course, it's an arcade game. That's just how these things work. I mean, you want to say roguelites were like this, but, you know, arcade games were really the progenitors of the, you know... Of the permadeath. Oh, I actually took the last gem. Like, right underneath him. If the game hadn't ended right there, I totally would have been eaten alive. You grab the honey, because it's worth it. Oh, no! I should have jumped. I should have jumped. I didn't even think about the jump button. My finger was even off of the jump button. That's how I didn't... That's how much I didn't even think about it. You can have that gem. I'm going to take these. Thank you. And all these over here... You guys are eating all the gems. Why don't you come over here? You guys come over here? Yeah, you come over here. Then I can go grab these other gems. And then that one. So there. So when do you get an extra life? It's got to happen at some point. Okay, that's right. These guys pop in over there. Okay, so then do this. Because you can fake out the skelly. Oh, yep. A little bit. A little bit. Okay, he took the elevator down. Then back up. Don't. He'd let him dance on the gem. That's just bullshit right there. Um, there's so many of those gems were eaten. Here, we can walk through this. Oh, we can. Yes, we can. We can do it. Okay, that actually worked out fairly well. Alright, so we've done this before. Oh, I almost got eaten alive there. But it's okay because it didn't actually happen. How is a swarm here already? That makes no sense. I count 
at as bullshit. Okay, we can eat you. Actually, it isn't eating you, but... Okay, we can go right past... Oh, I didn't know that took them out. While they're eating a gem, you grab them, and that takes them out. Okay, don't let the swarm get you. Don't let that... I said don't let the swarm get you. The swarm just pops in and out, in and out, in and out. That's kind of... Kind of weird. Okay, um, I apparently can't get that right now. Fortunately, that monster can't get over here either. But we are going to have to hurry before the swarm comes in. Okay, come on. Get up here. Grab this last gem over here. That's fine. Come down over here. The controls are a little wonky. Oh, shit. Swarm. No! Oh, I just had the last two gems. Maybe that should be my priority, because that apparently is where the swarm lands. So, okay, there's got to be strategies for these, right? Okay, 13th. How do we get more points than last time? I don't understand. Do not understand. Okay, so if you catch the gem eaters while they're eating, they disappear. I didn't realize that. I thought you'd just pass them. So that's good to know. These guys, though, they'll just eat whatever's in their way, so just don't be in their way. Basically, is what it comes down to. They're effectively the Pac-Man ghosts. They just lets you get used to the idea of something eating the gems. I think those guys you can just jump over, but why would you need to right now? Remember, you can totally jump over these trees. So, you know, don't be a stranger and all that. They are totally going to pick up a lot of things just because they're nature and they're bastards. So if we lead them over here... Yeah, that's it, buddy. Come over here. Get over here with Goldilocks. Killed that girl. I was going to use the B word, and then I realized it was totally unnecessary. So then I didn't. Still have two lives. It's better than we did last time, I'm pretty sure, at this point. Okay, so we got to take out the, the gems here with the skelly first thing, because I'm pretty sure this is also... Where the, um... Oh, okay. I took those gems. Don't take the... He took the elevator. What I probably should have done was prioritize the gem eaters. Because they're eating all my gems. Um, though I can't get them when they haven't eaten any gems. Because that's just not the way it works. Okay, we get all these. And... Okay, we got the last one. Barely. Barely. But it worked. Okay, let's go grab the honey pot because this is apparently where the swarm lands, so we might as well do this first. Okay, and we go through here, and if we can kill these guys. That'd be great, but it's not a top priority. Uh, maybe it is because the more they eat, the less I have, right? So let's so them eat it. There we go. Got him. Okay, we can do the same to this guy. Yep, there we go. Got him. Now we take the invulnerability. Take you out. Oh, I thought I was going up. Thought I was going up. Yeah, so the swarm lands over there. So if you don't do that section first, you're just fucked. Okay, that's fair. It's not really fair, but I'll take it. It's at least some kind of strategic thinking, which I at least appreciate. Okay. Got the last gem there. We're good. Okay, so now we're done with Bruhinda's castle. And I guess that's Bruhinda chasing us, even though we totally killed her. Okay, so here's where we died stupidly. So let's not die stupidly. Let's die smartly. Oh, oh, oh. Run, run. <laughs> all I could do was run in circles. Because I had eaten all the gems there, so they got to get to me before I was ready. Um, okay, so we got that. Oh, run away. Do not let the storm touch you. Oh, I could have totally taken him out there. Oh, come on. Oh! He ate my face. I thought maybe I could grab him while he was eating the gem, and he just ate the gem too fast. We actually got number one. Has no one ever made it past Brunhindel's cave or something? Whatever her actor name is. I don't actually know. Berthilda? Was that one? I jumped past too fast. Get the gems, Bentley Bear. Get the gems, Bentley Bear. Doesn't it sound like they actually... like it? Shouldn't that be like a cartoon bear's name? I mean, that's totally what they're going for. Was this a cartoon? Is this actually a, like a... A merchandise tie-in? I have no idea. I never really watched a lot of cartoons in the 70s. Um, or from the 70s, I guess, because I wasn't alive for like 99% of the 70s. Um, grab those. 
Oh, I could have jumped there, but I didn't. We're good. Though I have no idea when this game was made. It could have been made in the 80s. Looking at the graphics, I gotta say it's gotta be made in the 80s, right? It's gotta be. Okay, killed you. Oh, but I got eaten by the freaking other guy who was following his friend. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna come up here. Oh, okay, that's what they decided to do. Oh, and I jumped in the last possible stupid moment. Okay, well, the other guy's just gonna eat gems. That's that's just something I'm gonna have to live with for the rest of my life. Might give me nightmares later on. Okay, the skelly, you're not gonna take the elevator, right? You're not gonna take the elevator. Okay, well, they're out of gems, so I took the last one. That was probably my worst performance there, but I'll take it. Okay, now we gotta just kill these guys. Yeah, kill you. Kill you. Take this, kill you. Oh, you know what, though? I wonder if killing Brunhilda actually spawns the swarm early. Doesn't matter, though, because the swarm has to stay up there, and I don't. So I took care of all the bad guys, so this should actually be, like, cakewalk now. I should get the most points because I'm taking care of everything here. Yeah, man, the swarm, I don't give a shit if the swarm's there. It's funny, that actually, that sound is very similar to the sound made... Um, in King's Quest 3, when the wizard comes over and basically wants to wreck your shit, which makes sense. I mean, there's only so many sounds you can make in MIDI. Okay, we're gonna go up, and we grab the last four. I'm talking the original King's Quest, like, back on... Were they on... I guess I played it on the Mac, but I don't know if it was on Windows or not. It might have been. I guess it would have been DOS then. Okay, don't get fooled by these guys. Yeah, there we go. Um, he's gonna eat a bunch of stuff, which is fair. Oh, no! I used up my last life. That's a level... That's a... That's, what, three on the scoreboard? Two! I'm actually kind of surprised. Okay. We're actually doing fairly well on this. I don't think we're gonna get past the second level, though. I just don't think it's gonna happen. Um, at least not this run. So what do I think about this game? It's weird... Um, I don't know exactly what's weird about it. I mean, essentially, it's Pac-Man, right? With the bonus that you just need to plan out your moves a little bit so that you can hit them at the right point. I mean, the tree guys are invulnerable. That's just a thing. But, oh, no, I jumped in place. That's not helpful at all. That's not even remotely helpful. Now, one thing you can do is, like, strategically die um, so that you start the enemies over in the same spots so that you're able to take the last gem. That's an interesting strategy, but that only works if you grab enough coins to actually make it work. Okay, kill this guy. Oh no, I moved on him in the wrong time. I thought he was going to eat another gem at the time, and then he didn't. Okay, go up here. Take care of these. I'm not sure about this skelly, man. There's no way to take out the skelly, and he's just going to randomly move around. Okay, made it work. They are totally going to eat all these, though, unless I stop them. Last gem is totally mine. They don't know where it is. Okay. Again, I'm not sure how that stacks up with my best score, but I'll take it. Okay, he's going to drop there. Kill him. Oh, I killed both of them. That was great. Then killed Brunhilde, and she's out. Okay, the swarm spawns, like, as soon as I killed Brunhilde, so that kind of leads Credence, lends Credence, rather, to the theory that that's what causes the swarm to spawn. Could be wrong, but that could be it. But again, you're smart enough to take out all the bad guys. I mean, all the gems are yours, and then... Well, I mean, high score is yours, too, then at that point. So that's, like, the smart move. You'd probably do that for almost every map. There's got to be a way, right? Oh, I totally missed the elevator. That's all right. We're not timed for this, strangely. I mean, the only real timer is the gem eaters. And then, of course, you know, if you take care of the gem eaters while they're eating gems then there's no time limit. There's got to be... Yeah, there's got to be another type of enemy. Okay, so these guys... kill. Oh, I killed one of them, but not the other guy. Did I, like, run into one of the trees? I have no idea. Okay, replace our level 2 score. Can we break 33,000? I think if we don't go towards the gem eaters on that second level, I think we can totally do it. Because um, then there's a bunch of gems that just aren't available. Um, 
Okay, are they going to chase me? They are totally chasing me. I mean, that's good information to have, but doesn't help me right now. But yeah, that stops them from eating gems, because then they'll chase me down. And then I just do this. I didn't realize they were chasing me. I thought they were just going for the gems, but that's totally not what they were doing. Okay, you can eat all those gems. I don't care about those, because then I'll take those. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, so this is the tree level. Grab all these guys. The trees took a little while to wake up there, actually. Oh, shit. <laughs> the swarm. I was going to hit the honey, but if I hit it, I would have died to the swarm. So it's die to the swarm or die to the tree. It's going to happen either way. Okay, another swarm. Um, Hell. He's just going to eat all those gems. Oh, I didn't jump. That was my worst showing yet. Let's try that again. That was really bad of me. No, don't resume. Just... Yeah, 206. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Can you, um... There's got to be a way to... Is there... There must be a way to pan through the scores. So maybe if we just wait for a minute. Because I want to know how many scores they keep. They keep, like, the last 300. And they went up to 226. Oh, you know what it is? I bet you money it's 256 because that's the size of a bit or bite bite right no bites eight integer i think the end value no the end value stops at like fifty-four thousand or something like that i forget they're not going to show me the now they're not going to show me scores okay we'll just jump in here so we grab these we make these guys chase us hey dude you want some you want some want some bear Bet you want some bear. Can't have any bear, though. I'm over here. Um, though you guys ate through a ton of those gems. That might have been worse. That might have been worse. I don't know. We're at 293, though. I have no idea what we were, we're at before. Okay, so the trees have to grow. It's apparently a thing. They have to grow. How the heck... Okay, the swarm's only supposed to appear when the time has been too long. Time has been too long. That's probably the most awkward way to say that. And I totally just blanked there. I was trying to go for the gems at the top and then the gems at the bottom. And you can't do both at once. Doesn't make any sense. I am not going to... Oh, I grabbed the last gem. I actually did it. I didn't think I was going to do it. Okay, so then these guys, gem eaters. Let them eat the gem, then kill them. Eat the gem, kill them. Oh, no. I didn't actually eat any gems. What I should have done is grab the invincibility... And then eat his face. Oh, no! No! Controls! You betrayed me! You betrayed me for the last time! Or possibly for, you know, the seven millionth time, because... Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me for the seven billionth time. Shame on me. You know, that old adage. One more time. One more time. I want to see if I get more points this way. Doing it the way I'd have done it before. Or if, in fact... Oh, don't get eaten. Don't get eaten. You don't get points for being eaten. Yeah, see? Got more points that time. Definitely. Okay, so taunting him into following me was just a bad plan. What I do need to do, though, is, like, just straight up run for it. Oh! Okay, I jumped. It didn't actually do anything, but I jumped. Can't touch this. Can't catch this. Can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread bear. That is totally not a thing, but it probably totally should be. They're going to totally get the last gem if I'm not careful. Okay, you guys come over here. That's it. You know you want some of this tasty bear flesh. That should not be said by anybody ever. Okay. We actually made it out with our second lives. We're actually doing better than we have in the last three runs. Okay, these guys are going to eat gems. That means you punch them. Punch him. Okay, this guy can't be punched. Do not punch his face. Uh, we destroy all the gems down here then the gem eater has nothing to eat and we come over here and we grab the invincibility thing and maybe while it's going we can kill the skelly we can't kill the skelly okay that's that's, that's good to know it's not ideal to know but it's good to know unfortunately with nothing to eat the gem eater is gonna pull some badass moves you've never seen before and we totally got the last gem so we're good Okay, so now we do the Brunhilde level, right? Yeah, Berthilda, not Brunhilda. Okay, you're eating. You're eating. You're eating. Okay, good. That worked. Now let's go ahead and get that honey. 
and those gems up top so we don't have to worry about the swarm coming back. Good. All right. Um, okay, we're good. This actually takes a lot more mental energy than I thought it would. <laughs> I mean, asteroids, we were just, you know, babbling, man. It was just happening in the sidelines. But for this, man, I've got to actually think about. I mean, kudos to them, man. I mean, that that's impressive for, I mean, 8-bit graphics. This is quite an interesting level. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Logan's Run. Is it Logan's Run? Not the movie. Um, there was a game... Load Runner! That's what it was. Load Runner. Uh, okay, so this one, we want to totally get these other gems. Let them eat it. Let them eat cake, basically. Oh, dude, I'm going to be chased around a little here. Oh, let me get up. No! Okay, well, I can take the stairs anyway. Yeah, take the stairs. No, I couldn't take the stairs. Being chased. Somehow they didn't find me. Okay, the swarm is here. But yeah, there's a game called Lone Runner where you have to, um... You have to run around and grab all the gold. And then, um... I mean, the gem eaters are gonna eat my face here. Um, I'm kind of confused what happened there. Is that a glitch? I'm going down on, like, an invisible set of stairs there. Okay, punch him in the... Yeah, there we go. Punch him in the face. Eat that, gem eater. Um... I can do it on this way, and we're fine. Oh, the tree! The tree! Oh, I jumped over the tree, I swear! Okay, well, anyway, Load Runner was a fun game. It's basically what I was going to get to. All right, that'll do it. We got level 1. We did at least beat 32,000. We have 42,000. That's really good. Especially for a game I've never played before. All right, but that'll do it. I'm done with this game. It's interesting, but... I'm not sure it's much of a classic as Asteroids or Centipede, but it's still pretty fun. So that was Crystal Castles in the Atari Vault. And I'm PC Universe, your PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.